Now, Central Oregon's local alert weather with Chief Meteorologist Bob Shaw. Nine minutes past the hour on this Wednesday morning. Good morning, everyone. Uh, waking up to a fairly mild morning here on the high desert. Now, some of the damage has already been done. Our streets uh, from Bend and uh, outlying areas, uh, especially out towards Sisters, a little bit on the icy side, so be careful with this. Be prepared to deal with that. Uh, 36 degrees right now at the Bend Airport. Uh, gentle breeze at seven miles an hour out of the south-southeast. At Roberts Field, a little stronger breeze out of the south-southeast and 38 degrees through there. Uh, we are going to warm into temperatures that will feel a lot like yesterday. However, we are going to push some more storm activity into the region. Uh, Northern California already getting some uh, flooding rains. We'll talk more about that here in one second. Uh, Central Oregon skies have been uh, mostly clear to partly cloudy all morning. Uh, the temperatures have been just cold enough to get us to freeze whatever's on the surface. So be careful with those icy streets and know that uh, some of the rain that uh, is headed for California is going to work its way in our direction as well. From the Bay Area north, they're looking at a fairly moderate uh, of, of flooding potential as we uh, go through the day. There's still a lot of moisture being pumped in to the west coast here. It's all part of that atmospheric river that we've been talking about. Uh, once uh, this jet stream starts to move its way northward, uh, we're going to see some of that storm activity. That's going to happen as early as this afternoon, probably about lunchtime is when we'll get our first hints of it. And it's going to stay with us all afternoon and evening as well. This will be a great thing for Mount Bachelor and the other resorts. Mount B is expecting to get four to eight inches of fresh snow over the next 24 hours with much more snow in the forecast that'll carry them right through the weekend. So good for them. It'll be uh, difficult for some drivers. The jet stream is going to carry a lot of this to the coastal area uh, through the day tomorrow. So uh, we'll look for just some spotty showers here on the high desert. Uh, more of that's going to build in for the weekend. Starting out in the mid-20s to mid-30s, we've had a couple of spots that have begun to warm a little bit. Uh, we're anticipating getting into the mid-40s. Now it's going to feel colder than that once these southerly winds start to ramp up. 5 to 15 mile an hour sustained winds through the afternoon. We'll see gusts as high as 20 to 25 miles per hour in some areas overnight. So plan on these uh, te temperatures just feeling a little bit colder. Oh, mid 40s for uh, some areas, uh, low to mid 40s for Crook County and in Deschutes County. The, some of the upper elevations will struggle to even hit 40 degrees. So uh, overall, not a bad day. Just plan on this storm activity building in and we'll see a chance of showers stay with us through the end of the work week. Through the weekend, mixed showers are a possibility and we're going to carry some of that into next week as well. 